Hey, this is Alex and welcome to Starmancer. This is going to be my quick guide on getting your base up and running right at the start of the game. It's pretty brutal if you don't know what you're doing, so let's just get right on into it, shall we? Alright, very first we need us uh, some colonists. Now you can refresh this as many times as you want right here at the start of the game. So I'm often looking for a fast learner. I like that skill. They just learn everything faster, their traits like mining and uh, all that fun stuff. Oversleeper is not too bad of a negative quirk, and they're charismatic, which everyone likes them. Costing 70 DNA, let's go ahead and get them. Here they come, our new baby boy. Alright, so first things first, you want to go into their upgrades, because you probably have a free point to distribute here. I usually go for athletic, makes them move around the base faster. You can also do increased max health or have them use the restroom more which if you make a bio waste converter, you could turn into cash if you want to go that route. I'm going to go with athletic. Now this is optional, but I like to have somebody clear out these walls right here just to give us a little more building room. And then we want to make us a research station. Next, we want to go to the star map and assign a expedition. Now we're going to just send them here to get some ore. We have a mission to get 10 ore. But after that, you can see the little mining pick next to some of those items. That means your character you send out on these little expeditions will need to have a higher mining skill. Now next, this is also kind of optional, but I like to expand the base just a little bit. Don't go too overboard with expanding too early. But you do have to build off of these airlocks. If you build, let's say, if you do one of these, your people are going to go out there and they're going to start suffocating. So make sure you're actually building off these airlocks. When you plunk that down, there might be some extra walls. You can just delete those, clean up your room a little bit. And then since we're expanding already, we're gonna need a wall vent. So we're gonna have somebody research that. They're going to town building this. Now what a wall vent will do, it'll actually funnel the air from one side of the room to the other so you're not having any oxygen issues. As you can see, you can go to the overlays and go to oxygen overlay. Oxygen is a problem in these currently built rooms out here. Now it looks like our expedition is just about back and pay attention to this little symbol at the bottom right, the little message symbol. Make sure you're actually clicking that because sometimes your objectives won't update until you actually read these. Now when you click on the trading post, you can see the available things you can sell. Now for right now, we're just gonna be focusing on ore. So I'm gonna have the ore being put in here. The colonists will load this thing up and then it'll shoot off and make you some money. All right, next I'm gonna get the Dream Extractor, which actually harvests money from our people sleeping. Interesting device. So over here at our ship, they are unloading that ore that we got and they're throwing it right into the trading post. Oh, there it goes. That's gonna make us a little bit of money. Now our person leveled up in mining, so when they return to this location, they will be able to get that other extra treasure. So I'm just realizing for that dream extractor, we're going to need a little bit more room in this room. So I'm going to expand it just a bit, but I will need to move one of these airlocks. So you can just click it, go to move, plunk it over there. And now they can safely go out there and build. If you just take out one of those walls or add like an automatic door, they will go out there and suffocate. Our ship has returned and we got that treasure. Now that will be taken over here to the analyzer, which is going to give us a nice little chunk of money. So we do have some waste accumulating over here. So we're going to go to our trading post and actually sell off our bio waste. Doesn't sell for much, but you are turning pretty much poop into money. All right, they finished this room. We're going to move this airlock back to where it was and we're going to remove these walls. And that room should be good to go. Now I have been indicated there's a power leech. I'm going to pause. Oh, there he is. All right, so we're going to assign someone to go take him out. This person is not asleep, so we're going to click this little icon here. Click the power leech and do the punch face. Punch your face. Go. Epic fight scene. Boom. Turned into some wheat. All right, next we're gonna need some power. So we're gonna put a treadmill out here. 
they're going to need to be able to get to it in this tile behind it, or in front of it, whichever way that is. Then we're going to make us a small battery. Let's go ahead and plunk that right there. Now we need to connect the two with a wire. And I'm actually going to draw into this through the airlock here because we're going to need that in a moment. Get that all connected up. All right, we got this room all lit up. We're going to put one over here because it is a little dark. And there is a beauty meter, beauty overlay, as you can see. This area is kind of, kind of ugly. Gonna try to improve that a little later. Time to make our dream extractor and some beds. All right, that is ready to go. Now when people sleep, they will make us some money because money is really the name of the game here at the start. You want to do all you can to make money before you run out. Make that money. Make it. Clean up that poop. Good job. I might be a evil overlord of this base, but it's all good. So I just figured something out. If you hover over these, it'll show you how much they're worth. Like that beefy relic is worth 12,000. So we definitely want to be getting that. That is huge here at the start. Now we're finally going to research the ore refinery, which our objectives were telling us to do a while ago, but you do want to make sure you got your money under control before you advance pretty much past this point. Now we have that big treasure coming in, so we're going to be fine with money for right now, but if you do come to the point where you're really low, you can sell your med kits for a thousand each. So that's an option if you're really running low. Now if you want to have a cool guy space station, Give everyone matching uniforms, because you know, that's very important in space. It's about that time we finally make a toilet, huh? Now I want to test something. I'm not sure if this uglifies the room or not. Let's put on the beauty overlay. I mean, it's already not good in there, so... Oh well, you guys are going to have to sleep next to some poop. I was having some power issues, so I made a bigger battery, had to research that first. And now we're going to finally make that ore refinery, but I am going to place it in a brand new section. So let's expand here. Let's put it up here. This will be our research and development wing. So I just found out you can paint the floors. Let's make it some hideous blue. I just blew the base. Refinery time. Now we do have to run power to that thing. Now I am going to turn off selling my ore because we will need it now to refine. Oh, somebody's already putting that thing to use, making us some better ore. So we're going to go ahead and assign someone to activate the warp drive. Let's get out of here. They've gone to plaid. All right, so we're now in a new sector. All kinds of fun stuff. We have a mission to go rescue someone here on this planet. And also, we have a fourth colonist spot. So let's go ahead and recruit someone new. Gonna try to beautify our little bedroom here with some nice kitty cat mats. Oh, that clears that right up. So those are growing pretty slow. So let's go do that rescue mission real quick before we wrap this up. Good luck. Hopefully nobody gets infected. That is a risk in this game. Then you'll have zombies on your space station. Oh no, somebody was infected. There's our first zombie. Somebody's taking care of it already. Good job. So the people who were fighting the zombie decided to go to sleep. Bad timing. So let's send someone else to do the dirty work. Since you guys are a bit lazy, but I am monetizing your dreams. Mwahaha. Oh no, two zombies. Crap. Alright, he saved the day. Good job. Well, everybody's napping. So that seems like a good spot to wrap this up. We survived some zombies. We built some stuff. There's probably 90 other ways you could go about starting in this game, but that's just the way I play. So hopefully this helped you out. Let me know what you think of Starmancer. And this has been Alex. Thanks for watching.